All right, y'all. We got Wood coming up at Aqueduct tomorrow. Got three big races tomorrow. Wood, Bluegrass Stakes, Santa Anita Derby. So let's get going here. Number one is Tax. Tax, written by Junior Alvarado. He's a 92. Um... He's an alright looking horse. I don't really know if he's going to have too much speed in this one. Uh, Alvaro's won on him before. Uh, he won the Withers. Um, time was in 150, which is not impressive at all. Uh, but he did get the win. Maybe he'll be up for this race. He had a 47 breezing time uh, just recently. So he looks like uh, he's in decent shape now. Maybe a little bit better shape than the last race. So, uh, you know, that's tax. You know, he's got a, he's got a shot. A second Tacitus. Uh, out of Tappet, uh, ridden by uh, Jose Ortiz, trained by William Mott. He's a 5-2 to two favorite right now. Um, he won the Tampa Bay Derby in a time of uh, 141, and changeup's pretty good. Um, he's got a win right before that, where he broke his maiden at a mile in um, 138, which was not too impressive. Barely got that win. But he's got the impressive win in the uh, Tampa Bay Derby. That's what's making him the favorite right now. Um... Number three, Hoffa's Union. Hoffa's Union's out of Union Rags. Uh, it's also uh, got Malibu Moon for a grandfather. So he's got some decent breeding, uh, being ridden by Dylan Davis. Uh, he's never ridden him before. This horse is only running one race. Uh, he got that win at a mile and one sixteenth um, and a maiden special weight. Uh, he's got decent workout times, last three or 48 seconds at uh, four furlongs. Um, his win in a mile and 16th in that maiden race was 143, but he won that by seven lengths. So he probably uh, much more likely could have gotten that done a little bit faster if he needed to. So Hoffa's Union, one of those horses that uh, has definitely got a chance to win this because there's not enough on paper to really judge him. Um, so he's at six to one right now. Number four, High Cow. High Cow. Um, Grand, grandfathers are awesome again in distorted humor. So he's got some decent breeding. He's at 7-2 being ridden by uh, Rahib Mara. He's won on him before. This horse won the Gotham Stakes. Um, he's got a win um, at 7 furlongs before that. Uh, Gotham Stakes win was a mile and uh, 135, which is impressive. Trained by Karen McLaughlin. Um, High Cal, I think, uh, is, is definitely someone you want to consider as a winner in this one, uh, but this is going to be a competitive race. I, nobody's got it hands down, in my opinion. Um, number five, Final Jeopardy. Uh, Final Jeopardy is 8-1, to one, being ridden by Manuel Franco. Uh, his father is Street Sensed, a uh, derby winner. Um, Franco's never ridden this horse before either. Um, I ride Ortiz, uh, one on him. Uh, he's got other fish to fry today, so he won't be riding uh, um, Final Jeopardy. So they got Franco on him. Um, very slow workout times, but he's got a win in a mile in uh, 135. Um, so uh, he's he's uh, shown to be a decent horse. Um, uh, it's got uh, similar numbers in that mile there as, as uh, some of the other top runners in this one. Um, but so we'll see what can happen. We'll see what happens on this one. Final Jeopardy is another one. You don't want to count him out. Could definitely get a win here. Number six, Over Deliver. Over Deliver is at 20 to 1. Um, I think that number is pretty high. Probably will come down. Todd Pletcher's riding this horse. Uh, sorry, Todd Pletcher trained this horse. Uh, Kendrick Carmouche is riding him. Um, last race was at 7 furlongs. He ran before that at 6 furlongs. Uh, got a win um, at, set, at at the six. Uh, Johnny Velasquez was riding him there. Um, ran that in one ten, and uh, in the seven furlongs he was second by seven lanes. But that time was one twenty, a, a very fast time. Um, so uh, he still had a decent showing in that race and not getting blown away. So over delivers one of those horses, kind of like Maximum Security was last week in the Florida Derby. Um, doesn't really show me the, uh, uh, the distance yet, but he may be effective at this distance. His past two workout times are good at one minute breezing, and um, I think this horse is going to come out, and uh, he's going to have something to show. I think you're going to have to watch out for this one uh, over to Liver. Um, next, number seven. Number seven, not that Brady. Not that Brady uh, out of Big Brown. Um, 
Riley Gutierrez is riding him. Don't, don't know too much about that jockey, but he has won aboard this horse before. His last outing in the Gotham was terrible. I didn't watch that race. Um, he was 74 lengths off the lead. Uh, that's no good to say the least. Uh, I guess he's probably pulled up based on that. Um, but he uh, finished second in the Withers before that, a mile and eighth. Time wasn't that great at 150. Um, but he's, he's going to come out here and give it a go again. Uh, last workout was uh, 4 and 48. So, I mean, he's in all right shape. He's going to be a front runner, um, I presume. And uh, he should be in a position to get the win, uh, it, at least. Um, we'll see if he's got enough horse to get it done. Um, number eight, Grump's Little Tots. Um, that's a strange name. Out of Sky Mesa by Pulpit. Um, his other grandfather's Quiet American, so some decent breeding on, breeding on this one as well. Uh, he's 30 to 1. Jose Lescano's riding him. Um, he's ridden him before, hasn't gotten a win aboard him, though. Uh, but, um, he, uh, hasn't shown too much lately. Last race is a mile, had a terrible, uh, time at a minute 40, but he did get the win. Um, before that, he had a couple of five furlongers, you know, he broke his maiden, maiden um, in that mile race. Uh, he's probably in stock to pace, so I think he will be in a, a good position to get a win, and he's got a decent jockey. Workouts don't look too good, but we'll see what he's got. Um, next, the number nine, Math Wizard. Math Wizard out of Algorithms by Bernardini. Um, other grandfather is Deputy Minister. A little bit of decent breeding on this one as well. Eric Cantles riding him, never ridden him before. Um, he's at 30 to 1. Uh, the horse ran second at a mile in, in a uh, optional claimer in 138. Not too impressive. He did get a win at a mile in the claiming race at 136, which was decent. And he got a win at six furlongs in a, um, a maiden claimer before that one. Um, 112, nothing to, to you know write home about. 47 breezing time, 35 breezing at, at three furlongs, and another 47 at four. Uh, so this horse is working out very well. Um, that being said, it, that puts him in the conversation, I think, because um, he, he, he's been um, claimed twice now. Uh, so maybe he's just, just he's working out really well, so maybe he's found his home. Uh, so we'll see what Math Wizard's got. Um, number 10, Outshine. Outshine 6-1, to one, being ridden by uh, the Johnny V, Johnny Velasquez. Um, he's won on this horse before. I probably, I don't know why he's not the favorite. I mean, Tastis, they got him as a favorite. But uh, he's got a second place in um, this Tampa, in, in, in the Tampa Derby. That's probably the reason why. Um, is because he lost to Tastis in Tampa. But I, 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 with Johnny Velasquez back in New York, um, I, I, I like outshine a little bit more. Um, haven't really broken down this whole race. Uh, but he looks good so far. Uh, horse uh, sired out of uh, um, his father's Malibu Moon, um, who of course uh, means his grandfather there is A.P. Indy the Great. Um, he's got unbridled song on the other side of his family tree. Um, so he, you know, he said he's got that loss in Tampa. Um, but, um, you know, at seven furlongs, uh, he came out, he had a win with Johnny V aboard in 123. Um, so uh, I, I expect Outshine to do something. I expect him to probably be in the numbers somewhere, so we'll keep an eye on him. One minute breezing, 48 breezing before that, and a 59 breezing at five furlongs before that. So uh, this horse is in good shape. He looks ready to fire. Um, last but not least, we have a Jovia. Jovia is a 30 to 1, ridden by Nick Juarez. Uh, he's ridden him before, hasn't gotten a win. Um, this horse will probably stalk the pace. Um, his last outing, he was second um, at a mile and one sixteenth. Um, you know, in his uh, non-grade stakes race, uh, he had another second by a neck at seven furlongs at one twenty-five. At mile and sixteenth was uh, one forty-two. So, I mean, a little decent time. He seems to be in there. Maybe if the pace is fast, he might be able to get something done. Um, We'll see what he's got. Uh, last workout, 48 breezing, so decent shape. Once again, I, I think this can be a very competitive race, and uh, we're going to want to keep our eye on this one for sure to see who's going to be getting to the Derby. 
maybe one uh, or at least one or maybe two, three, four horses um, from this race. We'll see back in the Kentucky Derby, depending on how this one turns out. And we also got to keep on the uh, our eyes on the uh, the Bluegrass Stakes and the Santa Anita Derby.